Halloween, everybody. <coughs> We're back with another deep dive Halloween special. And mm -hmm. uh, today I'm going to let I'm gonna let James kick it off. He's got a pick for us. <laughs> and you probably look at the title and you're like, is that really a Halloween song? So, uh, eh, <laughs> okay. close enough. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> what this song is, is a fucking classic. So, James, okay. why'd you pick this damn song? What are we doing? Why did I pick this song? Why I don't know. So, <laughs> <laughs> when I think about Halloween music, I always think of like something I'd want to listen to at night. And so, it's usually not something as heavy when I'm thinking Halloween. It's got to be kind of like slower and spookier for lack of a better word and right. the background on this like has a guitar on it that kind of runs throughout it that to me just reminds me of creepy spooky night i don't know and that's about it you know i mean like I, i'm not gonna sit up here and be like oh yeah this is 100 percent a halloween song but there's just something about like the background music that makes me think Halloween. And for, for anyone who's not familiar with Korn, if there's a Mount Rushmore for new metal, uh, Korn's on there. They've stood the test of time. Yeah. Right, so let's do it. Ooh, that bass. Yeah. <laughs> This is the reason James had to turn down the bass on his settings. <laughs> yeah. It takes a part of me. Something lost and never seen. Every time I start to believe, something's raped and taken from me. From me. Life's gotta always be missing with me. Animated by uh, Todd McFarlane, who animated. Uh, Got to start with the the Spawn series. What do, you, what do you think about I, it? Yeah, so I mean, like, I hope you hear what I'm saying. Where like, it's got this really kind of creepy guitar sound behind it. It's got this slow build that that makes me feel Halloween. And for corn, the rock out parts are quite subdued, right? Like, yeah. that's that's not heavy corn. That's like corn being like, let's let's take it back, you know, 17 notches, right? Yeah. Um, but. One thing that listening to it this time that I really like, yeah, is like that bass has got a real funky sound to it. Like, at least for me, when Korn came around and started making songs like this, I'd never really heard a bass guitar played quite like that in music before. So 
it's it was pretty cool it's something that i still you don't i feel like i don't hear a lot you know it's a it's a it's a distinctive singular type of bass playing down to yeah. the hell you can hear the strings slapping around the the guitar um, yeah he invented a whole new style uh it's fantastic all right now we're into the <laughs> the weird part of the song take my love for like tom waits <laughs> tom waits his little beatboxing stuff i think it comes from this <laughs> i don't remember really liking this part even when i liked corn a lot more than i do now and it being one of those moments of you just gotta power through this part and let it happen we'll see if my mind changes listening to it having not heard it in a long time screw guitar solos we want beatbox let's do it <laughs> At least they they didn't just stick to the formula, right? I mean, that's about as not sticking to the formula as you can get, right? I mean, and then um, once he you know, once he screams "go" and the music kicks in, yeah, I love like from that point on, it's it. I love it. Like this is uh, Total Request Live back in the day, up there with Britney Spears, yeah. those super poppy songs, happy go lucky ish, right? You know, and then you've got beatboxing with some guys slapping like a maniac on a bass, right? Like this is so out there, like from normal pop music and what you would normally hear on the radio so it's kind of crazy that this weird thing that even people who are into corn i'm talking about myself and justin here a little bit like yeah. are like eh, you yeah. know yeah. it still was there it was still being played and and i don't know man they, i they I, a, I think that's pretty special they took a big swing with it and and they infected the culture with it yeah and everybody loved it enough to be you know up there with the top pop hits of that year. If I were having a Halloween party, I would totally have that song playing in the background. I'll I'll get you know I'll go with like I could see someone not agreeing with it because probably the second half of it is maybe a little on the heavy side for Halloween, right? Yeah. I I, I could I could live with that, but I like my music a little heavier anyway, so it works. <laughs> I love that song. It's a it's a total iconic classic. Um, mm. Not my type of genre these days, but so what. Amazing. I'm Justin. That's James. Happy Halloween. See ya.